And we're back, and we are slightly, get that out of there, uh, we are slightly different this week, obviously, because Mara... <laughs> Wait, we're not sponsored by Mountain Dew? We're not sponsored by Taco <laughs> Bell. We are not li- li- living moss. Uh, live moss. We don't skateboard. Neither does anyone that goes to the Taco Bell. <laughs> no one skateboards at Taco Bell. You don't know that. Yeah. Uh, maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't. I, 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 I'm not going to go on a skateboard. But, um... Yeah, some comics came out, and we are back, and Mara's not here, and we are trying something a little different this week. It's going to freak me out, because you're going to handle not only Independence for Mara, but also DC. Mostly because uh, I just had enough of DC, and, <laughs> well, honestly, I don't know what I'm talking about most of the time. So... You know much of tom- you're talking about most of the time anyway. I know, but Ooh, Marvel... There's a few things with Marvel that I can definitely <laughs> right. touch on, so uh, I'm at least excited to talk about that um i will say this though there are not many 299 marvels anymore are there no though they're going away yeah at least you get your free digital copy with them that's true it is something nice i would rather have that than a crappy backup story that has nothing to do with anything sure i'll take that anytime i'd trade all of it though for nicer covers a little bit Higher paper quality. Yeah, I hate the covers on Marvel. I'm gonna take this DC pop. All right. Well, Brian, why don't you guys get started with the independents? All right. Uh, it's a pretty decent week from Image, our good friends. Uh, first up, we got Deadly Class by Rick Remender and Wes Craig. Uh, more Assassin School fun stuff. Uh, we got some Manhattan Projects by Hickman. I don't read this as a comic book. I get the trade, so I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm sure it's crazy and science- sciencey. Has it been a while since the issue came out? Mm, probably. Maybe. I don't know. I think this book tends to be late, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't read it monthly, so I don't right. know. Right. Uh, and then uh, we got Some Walking Dead. All Our War Continues. Megan's Angry. Rick's Angry. I wonder how they're going to I wonder how they're going to work the trades on that. Are we just going to get trades a lot faster now? Uh, since uh, It's 12 issues, so they might almost just put the whole thing in one trade. Oh. But it's li- it solicited the first first volume. Oh, have they already? Yeah. Well, then never mind. I guess they'll do it in two trades. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> but maybe, it'll, maybe the next one will come out in three months, which will be pretty cool. I know, I know. I'm kind of just glancing at the future here. Uh, well, cool. Can I continue? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we got Serenity number two. Serenity, you know. I don't even know if I need to say anything, but it's awesome. Story picking up after the movie. Which is the, the official story. Executive produced by Joss Whedon. Written by his brother Zach, so. If you're a Serenity fan, you should be buying this. And, uh. Is it, you know, is it holding up to the justice of the show? Yeah, I like the first issue quite a bit. I haven't read the second one yet, but it's really good. Uh, And that's it for Independence. There's other stuff, but I don't want to talk about it, so uh uh-huh. Yeah. (laughs) I'm sure Mara would talk about much more. She would talk about Black Science, at least. And doesn't Rat Queens come out this week? Maybe. Yeah, even if it doesn't come in, she still always brings (laughs) up Rat Queens. There you go, Mara. You're welcome. And I don't read Black Science, though. Yeah. Uh, We'll go to DC. We'll kind of... We'll segue a bit by going Vertigo first, which since they're sort of Independence. Mm. Uh... Maybe my favorite Vertigo book right now, Dead Boy Detectives, number, what is this, three? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really good. The Dead Boys have gone back to the school they came from in Sandman, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, next up, we got uh, Wake number six, the beginning of the second part of The Wake, with uh, Scott Snyder and, uh, what's his name, Sean Murphy? Sean Murphy. I think in this, the rest of the story is going to be in the future now. I like kind the, of cycling between the present, the future, and the past, but I think it's all in the future now. I like that the covers uh, during this like second part have been a lot brighter. Yeah, uh, I wonder if that's on purpose. I don't know. It's weird. Andrew Robinson's doing the covers now, which is strange. Really? Why Sean Murphy wouldn't be doing them? I don't know. I wonder if Sean Murphy is having to concentrate so much on the interiors they just can't. I don't know. Could be. Who knows? They might have just decided they want. Like you said, they might have just wanted brighter stuff than yeah. he was doing. And uh, I got a couple from our friends at the New 52 DC. Uh, they're both, it's First Contact, which is the uh, crossover between World's Finest and Batman Superman. So Power Girl and Huntress, who are, of course, the Supergirl and Robin of Year Two or Earth 2, meeting up with the New 52 Batman and Superman and probably punching each other because it's the dark timeline and that's what we do at DC now. Yeah. <laughs> so Batman Superman number 8 is the first part. 
And then World's Finest number 20 is the second part. Uh, it should be interesting. Like I said, interesting to see how they deal with the counterparts from each of their, the other two worlds, whatever you want to call it. So is this the real Batman? Yeah, like that's the real real Batman and real Power Girl. Yeah. And real Superman. And real, well, real in the New 52 Superman. Oh, movie. okay. Well, that, that's fine. That's Not, fine. I mean, I can handle that more than right. I can handle Elseworld nonsense. Like, what, wasn't that what the first... Well, the first one was yeah. they met the New 52 Superman Batman met the Earth 2 Superman Batman. Yeah. So it wasn't Elseworlds. It was Earth yeah. 2. Yeah. Yeah. You just don't like that nonsense. That yeah. comics, I hate them. <laughs> well, then I you're know. screwed because that's I the know. only good stuff at DC other than Batman. I, I know. <laughs> uh, Catwoman came out. That's true. Yeah, that's all. It, though. <laughs> I think it's still I think it's still Gothopia. Yeah, yeah the cover she's fighting <sighs> cat birds fighting Catwoman or whatever. I, I don't know if I just <laughs> ducked out of Gothopia. I don't even know what that is. I not I didn't read the detective issue, so I don't know how it started, but it's like Goth Gotham City's all happy and bright. And so it's like a what if? I mean, yeah. Because I read the Batgirl one, and she's Bluebird, or, or not, she's not Bluebird, what was she? Something else, and she's all, everything's happy and stuff. <sighs> but at the end, Barbara could kind of see through it. Mm. And I'm sure Batman will destroy the happiness, and it'll be old, sad Gotham City again. It's Back to his dark time, right? Awesome. <laughs> well, right on. You ready to get into some Marvel? Yeah, that's all I got for DC. Well, I don't have too much for Marvel, not that there's not a lot coming out. I'm just going to focus on comics that I really, really, really enjoy. Um, other than the pick of the week and what your pick of the week is going to be. Um, so, I read the first three issues of this arc, this, uh, the Spider-Girl, uh, Avengers Assemble. Uh, Spider-Girl has a new sweet, sweet costume, and... Is it a sweet, sweet new costume? No, 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 I, I, I don't mind the hood. I don't care. She thinks that it's kind of dopey. Yeah, she, I think she looks sweet. <laughs> I like the art too. Who is this? Some guy I never heard of, but yeah, he's really good. It's definitely catchy. But it's some foreign name that I'm not even gonna try and pronounce. Right, but he's great with faces, and I I really enjoy I really enjoy his style. So yeah, hopefully after that book is over, he'll move on. I think I think so. I think Marvel will notice. But yeah, it looks it's really 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 cool. Really good stuff. And I don't know, can Captain Marvel fly now? I don't know. We haven't read number one. Haven't come out. That, I guess so. When we ended Captain Marvel, I don't think she could. Yeah. I guess. I, I mean, the, the the only one that would know for sure is the comic, and she's writing it. So maybe. I guess not. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, but no. Avengers Assemble number. What number is this? Twenty four. Twenty four. And this is the fourth issue of. I don't know how many Spider Girl uh, issues there are, but I guess okay. The first issue. Well, twenty five is the last issue of the book. So. Oh, is it really? I didn't know that. Yeah, twenty five is over. Oh, that's a bummer. Man, that's a bummer. Yeah. It was the Light Avenger comic, but I guess that's Avengers World now, maybe. Since so Spencer is writing it. I guess. Possibly. I don't <laughs> know. Um, well, maybe maybe something cool will happen to Spider-Girl, or maybe she'll just be forgotten about again. Um, but Seems more likely. <laughs> yeah, it does. Sadly, because she's a good character. I like the book comic. Your boy yeah. Paul Tobin wrote it. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, like, uh, I, I like that character a lot. I like... Uh, I, mean, I like the last issue when she's with Wolverine. Uh, yeah. I just I just enjoy that character, and we always talk about it, or we've mentioned this before. But you know, whenever Wolverine gets to take a young girl under his arms <laughs> and like train her or whatever, you know, it's always it's always good, and good fun. Um, and it seems like his thing. Guardians of the Galaxy number twelve, part four of six of the Trial of Jean Grey. So this is, uh, once again, Trial of Jean Grey, which has been pretty good. Uh, Star Jammer showed up last time, and is this really issue four? I guess so. Yeah, yeah because the first two yeah, were the... the first two had happened concurrently, so right, you can right. read either one first. I forgot about that. But yeah, we got some uh, good business, uh, Pacelli art, uh, Eminem. Uh, so yeah, quite a few. Uh, yeah, Eminem does the... Yeah, both stuff. Pacelli and Stuart Eminem, which is good stuff. So... Uh, trial of Jean Grey. Uh, I can't wait for the actual trial of Jean Grey. Uh, it starts in that one. I've so. read that's one of the few I've read so far, and it starts. I mean, it's like it's getting ready to start in that issue. And it's an excellent cover. I'm sure that no one will crash it and try and stop it, like say the Guardians of the Star Jammers. Uh, I figured that'd be the case. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, here we go. Let's go back. Let's go to the last month and uh, <laughs> finally release Hawkeye 15. Yeah, uh, there's been 16 issues of this comic so far, not including in 
annual and man well, it's just nice to get back to uh, Aja uh, oh, I didn't know that that's cute uh, Aja um, artwork again it's been a while it's been sure what October maybe I, I'm not really sure but Three or four months, yeah. we are back to the uh, tracksuit gang and uh, that crying guy. I'm not sure who that guy is. Oh, the clown dude? Yeah. That runs him? Yeah. So, I guess we'll see what's happening over in Hawkeye. And finally, uh, Spear Spider-Man number 28. Coming to an end, a couple of issues. This is the second issue of Goblin Nation. Pretty good uh, first, first issue. Uh, we are... Peter is going to have to crack into Ox mine for a little bit uh, of a change of pace. So, if you've been enjoying this, I can't imagine why you, you would not be picking this up. A uh, Secret Shopper came today and was really interested in getting it. Oh, really? But it doesn't come out till Wednesday. That's right. She had, she's coming back tomorrow, I'm sure. Because it's always like the elderly person. <laughs> yeah, she's <Yeah>. pretty old. <laughs> Don't know what the uh, secret shopper is for those that don't know. Uh, well, today we filmed this on Tuesday. Actually, mm -hmm. I don't know if it'll go up tonight or tomorrow, but it'll go up tonight. Yeah. So we get the comic books on Tuesday with the uh, caveat that we don't put them out until Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. So occasionally, Diamond sends secret shoppers out to make sure that we're not selling comic books early. <laughs> so it's always like an old lady comes in. And it's always Spider Man. Every time I, I hit it, hit these stories, it's always Spider Man. Maybe it is. I don't know. She asked for Spider Man and Fantastic Four today. So oh. they always ask for stuff that's coming out the next day and see if, you know, if you were going to get busted by selling them to mm -hmm. her. But uh, we did not. Once we again, we once again fought off the secret shopper. <laughs> because, well, you, know, you, you don't sell them. Right. On <laughs> top of all of it, you don't, you don't do not do that at all. <laughs> so right on. Uh, well, cool. Uh, so I guess it's pick of the week time. So I guess right. it's time to go back to Marvel. It is time to go back to Marvel, yeah. for sure. Again. Uh, Get ready to cry, folks, because it's the last issue of Wolverine and the X-Men. Is it good? I haven't read it yet, actually. Mm -hmm. I read Fantastic Four and Guardians, but I haven't read this one yet. Uh, it looks like, uh, remember that story where it was Wolverine kind of in the future with Quentin and mm -hmm. stuff? Quentin like, like, became like the leader of the X-Men. Like, looks like we're visiting that timeline again. We're getting a nice little mashup of all Jason. It says Jason Aaron and Friends on the front as the creative team. So oh, really? Everybody that works everyone... on it, I think, is... Is doing a, a bit of it. Even Bacho has done a couple pages. Really so, great, great, great comic. Yeah, so it's it's sad that it's going away, but we still have Amazing. And of course, next month will just be a new number one. Right. Jason, but Jason Aaron's buddy, Jason Latour, writing it. So. And they're they're incredibly close. So yeah. I can't imagine it. Uh, I can't imagine the shift to be that jarring. Probably not. So I think they're changing. Like, I know Quentin is getting a different costume. I mean, not that he really wears a costume, mm -hmm. but. Other than that, I think it's probably the tone is probably going to still be pretty much the same. He might finally wear pants instead of the short pants. <laughs> I don't know. Awesome. Well, my pick of the week is Fantastic Four number one. Oh, well, Fantastic Four number one. Feels like I wasn't much of more than a year ago that my <laughs> pick of the week was Fantastic Four number one. But this is James Robinson, and it feels like he might be in for the long haul. I haven't even taken a look at it yet except for a few uh, images. I have no idea what the story is. I have no idea why they're wearing red. And I can't wait to find out because it bugs me out that Fraction's run came to an abrupt stop. It wasn't really developed. And uh, we never got the story. It never felt like we got the story that we were promised. At least not as fleshed out as the thing it deserved. Uh, but... It feels like this time I don't know anything about it going into it, which I'm kind of excited about. And last time I kind of knew everything that was going to go on uh, going and into it. Having read it, it seems like it's like this is going to be just one arc, and then there will be another arc. You know, written by James Robinson still, know. but you know, it's not going to be some kind of massive, well, year-long thing like Fraction set up and then unfortunately had to bail to do in human, and, which he's not even doing anymore. And then even before <laughs> that, we had Hickman's, you know, yeah. three-year or whatever it was. Yeah, J James Robinson is a more traditional kind of comic book writer, so I'm sure we'll... St I mean, there'll probably be an over... Once you put it all together, you'll right. see an over arc, over an arc, but I'm sure it'll be more like a, you know, four to six issues per story kind of story. Well, then that's good, because I think Fantastic Four needs some time off. I yeah. mean, we've had... Martin Millar's run, uh, and then after that we had 
uh, Hickman, then we had Fraction, and then, you know, it just feels like, you know, epic, 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 and it's like... That's it's, actually kind of interesting what you're talking about, because that's kind of what the story's about, is the Fantastic Four, like, okay, we're home now. We just need to right. chill out. Yeah, like, exactly. that's just, because, like, that, that's the thing. It always, it, it has lately felt, like, when you read, like, an Avengers comic or an X-Men comic or whatever, where's the Fantastic Four? It just feels like, unless it's new Avengers, they're just not there anymore. They had more of a presence, I feel like, before, uh, even before uh, Avengers vs. the X-Men. I mean, I, I felt like they showed up in a few mm -hmm. more books. I mean, there was the X-23 yes. crossover. The Ving was in the Avengers. I was going to say, the Ving was in the Avengers, yeah. yeah. So it, it felt like they had more of a presence, but it feels like they've been on vacation forever. Like, I'm ready well, for them to come back. Of course, that was the story, the Fraction story. That right. They were gone for that whole year. Right, but even, even the later, like, like, Hickman, like, plenty of other characters were showing up in their comic. Sure. But, it, but it didn't feel like they were showing up much. And and I, I'm kind of ready for that shift. Um, and, I said, and I will say this, from what I have seen, Leonard Kirk is awesome on art. He's an excellent artist, and he's really stable. Like, when he, you know, he he's works with Peter David a lot. Hmm. And, I mean, he's one of the guys who can do a monthly with no problem. So, cool. it, well, assuming that they keep him, it should be a pretty consistent creative team. That sounds great because, yeah. you know, I, I, don't get me wrong, I like Bagley a lot, but, I mean, they had to change him out. Uh, well, I think, you know, once Fraction left, he, left, he was kind of, like, not interested anymore. And yeah. they gave him Cataclysm, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm very excited about this. I'm hesitant, naturally, uh, but it's not going to, come on, I'm, I'm going to buy Fantastic Four, regardless. Like I said, it was yeah. good. I, I told you, like, I, his Sue and Johnny seem a little off, but... Well, that's just, I mean, that's just, right. it takes time. Sure, yeah, it's his first issue, so. Yeah. But no, it was good. So I can't, you know, I, I'm just ready. I, I, yeah, like, like like you said, I'm ready for them to be back in New York. I'm ready for Ben to be here. He's going to be here. So <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited, uh, obviously. Well, I guess that's it. I guess that's, that's all it. of our comics. So, Brian, I guess we're going to wrap it up. Is there anything else that we need to talk about? Guardians of the Galaxy trailer? Mm -hmm. It was like that was. Didn't we talk about it last time? No, nah, it was. Uh, it premiered on Tuesday. Tuesday night last time. No, because remember TJ came in and I was all angry because we we're gonna. Oh no, that's right. Because I was gonna pretend like we mm -hmm. had. Because you know, yeah, that's true. So we hadn't seen it since yeah. then. It looks awesome, of course. Godzilla came out today. Godzilla trailer who had ten seconds of X Men. You see that A little teaser teaser? No, I was like, I don't need to see I the hate six those issues. So yeah, six much. seconds of Instagram or whatever. Yeah, it's like flash, 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 <laughs> done. Is a buying of X Men. Right. Uh, yeah, they showed me nothing new. Um, I'm trying to think. I guess that's it. I guess yeah. that's it. Cyclops, uh, Greg Greco. Yeah. I was actually going to ask you about that. Um, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about how like Greg Greco kind of changed how people viewed the Punisher when in his run. Um, do you think that's what Cyclops? I mean, even though it's not even really Cyclops. You think that's what Cyclops kind of needs right now? Because like for, it feels like for the past fifteen years, uh, Cyclops, no one has liked him. You know, he's been. That's like, I mean, I've never liked him, but I know a lot of people who really, really mm -hmm. do like him. So I don't know. I mean, I, I'm. If you'd I, again two weeks ago said there's a new Cyclops book coming out, I would be like, I totally don't care. Mm -hmm. But Greg Rucker writing Cyclops in space with the Star Jammers, I'm definitely down for yeah. that. So it sounds like a, a pretty cool idea. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, what's the last has Punisher been the last thing Greg Rucka has written that's superhero related? Yeah, yeah. So and he, that, I mean that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's cool. It's uh, I'm excited to, um, to check it out. But no, yeah, I love Greg Rucka, so I'm so, I'm ready for some some more mainstream stuff from him. Should be fun. Awesome. Well, I guess uh, that's gonna be it. Brian, where can the, the people behind our comics? We're at Conway Comics, 255 Ferris Road, right behind good old UCA. Yeah, I got to point this way now. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I'm over here. <laughs> it's weird to be over here. It felt good talking about Marvel. I feel happy. I feel, yeah. feel bummed out. Man, you can have it for now on, dude. I've been offering it to you for a yeah, while. Yeah, I know, but I know you, everything you love comes from Marvel, but it's also true that everything I love comes from Marvel as well. <laughs> everything like everyone man. loves comes from Marvel. Yeah, even enough. people who don't know Marvel and DC, yeah. they're loving the Avengers, not the not the Justice League. Look at those movie tickets <laughs> yeah. just flying off the box office. All right, well, guys. As always, Groot will be in a movie before Wonder Woman. I know. <laughs> but in this season, we'll like a movie. So.
I'm on their cellar. It had two lines of dialogue. Okay. Um, well, guys, once again, it's been a lot of fun, and I guess we will see you next week. So, from nerdspan.com, I'm Matt Wood. I'm Brian Keown. And, like I said, we'll see you next week. Enjoy your comics. <laughs>